Hey guys, it's Hi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to be talking about manifesting an SP, which is a specific person. The first thing I want to let you know is that it's really simple. Like it is so simple. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, don't take people's free will away. Well, free will isn't a thing. So it literally isn't. You don't have free will. I don't have free will. You clicked on this video because I manifested that you clicked on this video. I didn't even take your free will away, you just don't have it because everyone is you pushed out, which I will get into later on in this video. But free will does not exist, so stop letting people have it. Literally take it back, take it back. They don't do anything unless you decide they do it. So why are you letting them do that? Because obviously you're giving them free will if you have to click on this video to watch this, which is okay, I've been there, but stop giving it to them, take it back. The main thing you need to do to manifest a specific person is to live as if, and this, that literally scared the crap out of me. Living as if means you're living as if you already have it. Um, a lot of people say live in the end, which is kind of similar, but personally, living as if is easier for me to do because it's all mental. Like you're living as if mentally. You are gonna live your life as if you already have your specific person. For example, if I'm trying to manifest boy A, and I want boy A to be my boyfriend, I'm gonna live as if boy A is already my boyfriend so i'm gonna be thinking in my head all day oh my god i'm so happy that boy a is my boyfriend boy a texts me all the time boy a loves me boy a and i are together like you need to live as if you and this person are already together or already have a friendship or whatever you want and that's how it's going to manifest because it's going to be normal for you it's going to be like oh okay well yeah you're with them and it's going to eventually just manifest because you're already living as if you are with them you have to make your affirmations and this thought of you being with them normal. That's why repeating affirmations is so important because once you repeat it so much, your subconscious takes it and it, it believes it. Something I do that helps me manifest is pretend like I'm talking to my best friend, Jenna. You can talk to your best friend, your mom, your sister, whoever you rant to, or you just tell all this like big stuff to, like pretend like you're talking to them, like have a conversation with them in your brain. So for example, this is what I would do. I'd pretend like I picked up my phone to text Jenna and be like, oh my God, like this person is nonstop texting me. They love me so much. They keep telling me how much they love me. They keep telling me how much they wanna hang out with me, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna make it as normal as it can be because cats here, I'm, I'm, I'm all spooked today. Making it normal is making it manifest. If you have a diary, write in it like you, I got my SP blank is in love with me like do that do whatever is normal for you because whatever is normal is going to manifest if affirmations don't feel normal or if affirmations don't feel great switch them up use affirmations that seem normal to you in your thought patterns because then your subconscious is gonna be like oh my god wait you're thinking that oh okay you're seeing that okay 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 manifest <laughs> in your affirmation use words like always this person is always texting me this person has always liked me it really sticks in your brain oh my god i just realized me saying all these affirmations is going to manifest someone uh, anyways saying words like always is going to imply that this has always happened meaning it's always going to happen they're very strong words and i really like using words like always and stuff so sneak those into your affirmations and it, it'll help a lot i promise now let's talk about everyone is you pushed out basically Everyone is what you think they are gonna be. Everyone is what you assume they are gonna be. Have you ever talked to someone that is constantly like, ugh, I'm so annoying, I'm so ugly, like, I have no friends. And you're like, no, like, that's not true. And then the more you go on with your friendship, you're like, it's true. They are putting it out there that no one likes them. They're ugly, no one wants to be their friend. Meaning it is manifest because everyone is them pushed out. So if they're going to assume that everyone doesn't like them, they're ugly, blah, 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 blah. It's going to be pushed out and everyone is going to start feeling that way towards them. Even if they didn't at the start, you could literally be in love with someone. And if they start thinking bad and they're like, everyone in my life leaves me, you're going to leave them. You're going to get to a point where you leave them because that's how it works. And everyone is you pushed out and everyone is the assumption you have of them. People are only going to show up how you think they are going to show up. So start assuming that they're gonna show up exactly how you want them to. Why wouldn't you? If they're already gonna show up how you assume they're gonna show up, start assuming the exact way you want them to show up. Cause they're gonna show up either way. Start, start having them show up exactly how you want them to. This doesn't go for just specific people. This goes for literally everyone in your life. Every single person you meet, they're gonna show up how you assume they are gonna show up. Everyone is you pushed out. It has to be that way. It is that way. So next time you start thinking that all your friends think you're annoying, stop. 
stop because guess what it's gonna manifest and all your friends are gonna think you're annoying you can use everyone as you pushed out to eliminate a third party as well a lot of people are always like well my SP is with someone right now like my SP is in a relationship they're talking to someone blah 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 doesn't matter circumstances never matter you can manifest anything you want if you are desiring it you can manifest it no matter what circumstances are around the manifestation to eliminate a third party you have to use affirmations like my SP is only in love with me. My SP only likes me. I'm the only one that my SP wants to talk to. I'm the only one my SP likes. When you affirm things like that, it's going to eliminate everything that doesn't line up with that. If I'm saying I'm the only one my SP likes, everyone else that my SP likes is gonna go away. Because guess what? It's my reality and I'm affirming that and what I manifest comes true. Don't, for the love of God, don't say things like, my SP doesn't like that one person anymore. First of all, whatever you focus your energy on is going to show up. So whether you're trying to manifest it away or not, you're focusing on that person in the third party, which means they're gonna stick around and they're gonna show up. You have to literally ignore it. It's not there. It's not there, not in your reality. Like what? No, they don't exist here. They don't exist in your reality. You're just gonna affirm that your SP likes you and only you. Don't ever acknowledge the fact that there is a third party. There isn't. Let's talk about making a new story. A lot of people are always like, we ended on really bad terms, they blocked me, like I don't have contact with them, like they're never gonna talk to me again. First of all, that's your problem, is that you're thinking that. Stop thinking that. That's literally creating a block. This is something that I do. I take the story, wipe it clean. Take the book, throw it away. There is no story. I decide the story, not whatever actually happened. No, it didn't happen in my reality. Mm -mm. Write a new story, starting from the beginning. My SP loves me so much. My SP has always loved me. My SP and I are together. My SP and I are happy as can be. Take all the assumptions you've had about them before, how they feel about you or whatever the story was. It's not your story anymore because you decide what story is gonna show up. So start writing whatever the heck story you want. You don't actually have to make a story just in your head. Assume that this is the story that's living out you know because you get to decide what happens so stop creating blocks stop assuming that they don't like you stop assuming that they aren't going to text you stop assuming that you're going to be the only one texting first no you create what happens in your reality this is your reality you create it no one else not them not the third party you you also have to decide if you want to manifest little things or the whole thing at once this means do you want to start manifesting that they text you or do you want to literally jump into it and start manifesting that you're dating you can work your way up or you can go all the way to the end goal either one works it is completely a preference it's completely up to you what you want what you decide to do just know that if you're manifesting right and you're not creating any blocks and you're living as if you're gonna get it no matter what a huge factor of manifesting is self-concept basically self-concept is how you view yourself what you think you deserve blah 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 yourself you know if you have a bad self-concept it's gonna kind of be hard to manifest it's gonna be hard to manifest when you think you don't deserve it because you're gonna be like mm, my SP is texting me but why would they text me shut up literally shut it right now if you think you don't deserve it, you're manifesting that. You're manifesting that you don't deserve it. So stop, literally stop. Start throwing in self-concept affirmations like I am a bad B. I deserve everything I manifest. I deserve everything good in this world. Cause you do, you literally do. You're a bad B, you're perfect, you're amazing and you deserve all the happiness in the world. And the last thing I want to add in here is that you have to be on a mental diet 24 7 a mental diet is constantly keeping your thoughts in check and this is the most important part in my opinion to manifesting anything not even a specific person because if you're constantly having negative thoughts and going against your affirmations you're repeating the old story the one that we threw away so we stop repeating that and every time you repeat the old story by thinking something negative you're pulling that story back in and opening it up stop doing that that, sh that story is done that story is gone that story has never happened you have to purge your thoughts every second of the day every time you have a bad thought completely switch it around. i can't snap completely switch it around for example if i'm trying to manifest someone and i'm like they haven't texted me all day no stop yes they have they texted me so many times today they were the first person to text me in the morning they're the first person to text me when i go to bed flip it around it can be as easy as that because once you do that it's going to start becoming like really natural and it's just going to start manifesting 
even quicker and you don't want to create unnecessary blocks because you're not on a mental diet so just keep your thoughts in check all the time you have to you have to keep your thoughts in check it seems hard it seems difficult it's not it's literally not you're thinking 24 7 so like you have time to repeat something positive after you say something negative you know like it's it's not that hard i'm not saying that you have to be positive all the time but your thoughts do so you can have negative emotions and still be affirming i've done that so many times so that's basically how to manifest someone if you want any more tips comment them down below or you can dm me on instagram um i get a lot of dms so it's kind of harder to reach me there but i do answer most of the comments i try to get to every single one and i do try to answer my dms if you like this video make sure to like make sure to subscribe um comment on anything you want me to teach you guys about if you have any ideas, comment them down below. I post spiritual videos every Saturday and fun videos every Wednesday. Um, I think next Saturday, the spiritual video is gonna be about shifting. So a lot of people have been asking me about quantum jumping, shifting realities and stuff like that. So ask any questions in the comments, I'll answer them in the video. But thank you guys so much for watching, bye.